welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Ghost Hack YouTube channel. So in this video, we are gonna look for Angular environment files. How you can create multiple environment files in Angular. And which ultimately gonna help you to avoid the mess up around in the same file. And I consider you at least know the basics of it. So here you can see the Angular project, which is running over the browser. So we are completely doing an experiment on this project. So let me head over to the code editor. So in this project, you can see the environment file is open. And here I added a single variable along with its value. Also in this, you could see another one with the name mighty. Also added the client name variable with its value. And this is the custom one which we going to learn. And lastly, there is a production environment file. Which also contains the client name variable with its own value. And whenever you create a new Angular project using the CLI. You are provided with an environment folder with, two, environment files. One for production, and one for all other environments. But here you could see I added one more environment file. Just ignore this file for right now. Within a few minutes, I'm going to show you. Also before we move. Let me explain why we need the multiple environments files. So firstly we use environment file to our advantages. Like shoving all sorts of things inside it. API keys, feature flags, API URLs, default configuration settings, etc. Now suppose you have to give one project to the different client. And different client have different API keys. Or mostly the different secrete keys. So instead of doing it manually every time. We can achieve this by creating separate files. So first and foremost. Let me show you running the project on the custom environment. For that. You have to type ng serve c where c is the configuration and after that name of the environment now it will take some time to load the project now check the project on browser here you can see client name appears which specified in that environment file now create another one for that you have to create a new file and follow the same naming convention. Here for the demonstration purpose, I am going to create the two different files. Now simply copy the content of other files into these files. And change the client name variable value. So that we can easily differentiate the working of the files. Now we complete the step 1. Now in step 2 we only need to make changes in the Angular JSON file. And before we making any changes in the Angular JSON file. You must take the backup or at least for the first time when you didn't touch this file before. So here you can see the Angular JSON file. In this file, you have first go to the configuration part. In the configuration file, you can see the two JSON object defines. One is the production and another one is for mighty environment file. Just like you have to create for those two files as well. So first copy the production object and passed below and Rename with the environment file. Repeat the same steps for another environment file as well.
Now for the second file. We will remove the other options. Because those are necessary only to build cases. I will show the actual working on this later. So here you can see the separate object added for different files successfully. Once it has done. Now we have to move over serve the object. Which is just below the configuration object. So here is the serve object. And inside of serve object, you can see. There is another configuration object. Also if you see configuration object. It includes another object as above. One is for production one. And another one is custom one. Which I created recently. So simply, copy and paste the same object. And replace its name. So that's it we are done with the Angular JSON file. Now let me show you. It's working by running the project on this environment. Before running other just see. Currently, another environment is running. And here is client name is appear as mighty. So let move towards running the other environment. By running the file we are getting the error. And I know this is related with the file name. By creating file I rename with the wrong name. So let me correct this. Now we are ready to go. So we have added the production option as well. That's why you can see warning over here. Now it's build successfully. Now check the client name in the project. So here you can see it's also changed. Now let repeat the same thing for another environment file. By running the hack environment. There is no warning appear. This is just because in configuration. We didn't provide the production setting for hack environment file. Now check the client name again. And it is also changed. So far we see how we can run the project while development. Now looks into build case. See the same thing gonna work in building case also or not. So building the project is done. Let run the build and see the client value. Yes in the build as well it's work fine. That's it guys this is what I wanted to show you. With the help of multiple environment files. You can avoid the extra work and avoid the mess up as well. And hope you like this video. If you have any doubt please comment out below. Till then bye.